Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Garrett, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy on the PlayStation 5. Had a fun trip getting here to the uh, sorting ceremony. Uh, got to go through the back door into Gringotts, and got attacked by the uh, the goblin that's been in the paper. So, uh, but yeah, we're just in our, got our house picked out here. You belong in Slytherin! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. All right. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. <laughs> oh, there okay, that's a cool entrance. <laughs> so my wife is actually Ravenclaw, and well done. yeah, it's pretty. Her, now, they're completely different. I love it. Sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Oh yeah, no, this is so much different than the Ravenclaw. Like there is, it is cool. Like the amount of details and like the, the Ravenclaw doesn't have the big old fire pit here in the center. Beautiful doors, holy crap. Oh, this is so cool looking. I suppose some introductions are in order. That new fifth year must be different. Starting oh my. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. 
Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Ah. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Right. So, who else we got to meet? I I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. <laughs> I'd much rather have arrived on time and without a dragon attack en route. I'm sure. How horrible. I can only imagine. Well, it's good to have you in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. All right. <laughs> How cool. I already knew that. Ah, Sebastian. Can I help you? Ah, oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. I'll let you get back to your book. Nice meeting you too. Good luck today. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. All right. Spend all my galleons at Honeydews. <laughs> I'm just on fizzing whisbies. It is night and day different comparatively in in the different common rooms here. Holy crap! Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. There we go. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? <laughs> Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Well, hold on here. This is a house. Oh, I can't open it. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Oh, yeah? Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings.
The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. I'm right next to you. Calm down, girl. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. There we go. Gonna open up the guide now. Girl, you Clever, can book it. Isn't it. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Sorry about the little cut there. I wanted to turn on the ray tracing. I forgot to do that here. We're going to need to definitely keep this as a pretty, pretty moment. timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. All right. Is it Central Hall? Select the library annex. Central Hall. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Sounds good. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He showed me one he spell. Professor. Well, two. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding Three? your arrival. Specifically he's taught me a lot more than I remember. What happened after that awful dragon attack? My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, no. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, aye, Professor. Aye. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. 
I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. <laughs> Did yeah. I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Masterfully? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, yeah, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. Main quest, complete main quest while unlock further stories. Get your HP. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Aye, aye. Revelio. I think there's a uh, page here. Yep. Grab that. Ooh, it's bright out. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Rebellion. More flu powder things we unlock now, the better off we'll be in the long run. Let's jump around a lot more often. That's for sure. Hear one. So that dinging sound we're hearing tells us that you're Rebellion. you're having a there is a there is something nearby. Now that could be above you, below you, and how close you are to them. Before we head to class, just want to kind of look around. I love this picture. Had a good time. Fire festival went hard that year. <laughs> Rebellion. What's on that one? Now? Let's get going. Yeah. Oh, so. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. 
Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend <laughs> yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right. Bada boom. That's how great I am. Look at that. Levioso. Can make a make a feather float. Now let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yes. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise so Now, well done. Look how good that is. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Okay. This should be easy. Levioso, this can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick. Don't you call my students with a Shoot him wise down. I do the job. Try to anticipate your opponent's next move. Use the basic cast when your opponent's. Oh, I am. Down. Don't worry. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Hell yeah. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Thanks, Professor. I'm so good. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Oh, Didn't you're expect just a new fluffing me up here. To be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Okay, that was kind of a... Uh... Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know... You might be a perfect fit kind of for a, a certain exclusive, there, uh, unsanctioned Eric. dueling organization. <laughs> exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see oh. you soon. Oh yeah, Perhaps good idea not to get caught. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. 
if you're interested. Till next time. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most we go up. included. Yeah. What was I say? Is there a? There it is. the kitty. Hell yeah. I love the details in this because you could see like how how a kid and and you know going around the corner here boom rounds that corner not you know not really put much thought into things just kind of constantly going around in the circle there really cool is that a flu powder there boom and then i actually came over here look back look at that Make it a pro probably polyjuice potion there. Probably a callback to the uh, movies. I'm assuming the movies of the book. Professor Ronan. Revelio. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Hmm. <laughs> Just adventure around since we got just a few moments left before. And then the werewolves oh, there's the charms. The nice. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun. I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I've never been up this way yet, so I'm curious what's up here. Revelio. Goes up more? Holy crap. Revelio. Not for any kind of secrets we run across. Oh, the Trinity Tower. Nice. Travel broadens the mind. Revelio. Ooh. Let you pause and read that if you'd like. Pet the owl? Oh, come on now. Rebellion. I use the telescope. Oh, there's people flying by. <laughs> oh, the details. It's the Quidditch field. 
jump over the side. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a great place to pause it. We'll continue our journey in the next episode and head to Charms class, I guess. So, thank you all for watching. Really do appreciate it. Again, give the video a like. It does help me out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel because I have tons of videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys, stay frosty.